Women in North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's life continue to attract global media attention. It's interesting that the North's own state media is really playing up First Lady Ri Seol-ju. Countless countries in the world grapple with the problem of men being superior to women, but in North Korea, this comes in an entirely different form. Here, even the First Lady herself goes through quite a few challenges. From saying goodbye to her past, to being forced to stay in North Korea in today's video, we are talking about the rules Kim Jong-un makes his wife follow. Let's begin. 15. The Ultimate Role Model Ri sol -ju's life represents a fascinating contradiction. On the surface, she embodies the regime's image of the ideal woman. Her unwavering loyalty and support for her husband and her adherence to traditional notions of femininity are endlessly promoted by the state media. She's shown elegantly dressed, attending cultural events, the picture of a dutiful wife. This image resonates with a specific audience, the privileged elite class who recognize their comfortable lifestyle mirrored in hers. However, the veneer of perfection shatters the moment you look deeper. The harsh realities faced by most North Korean women, poverty, lack of education, and immense pressure to sacrifice personal goals for family, stand in stark contrast to Rai's life of apparent comfort. Her complete lack of individual voice and freedom highlights the lie behind the regime's propaganda about female empowerment. Even if you analyze her fashionable outfits, the extreme inequality between the elites and regular citizens struggling to access even the bare necessities becomes apparent. You won't believe it, but Kim Jong-un makes his wife a role model rather than a loving spouse. Real role models likely exist in the shadows, unseen by the world. They're the women going through unimaginable hardships with resilience, defying societal expectations with quiet acts of courage. These unseen women are the true symbols of the strength of North Korean womanhood. We're left to wonder if even Rai, amidst her gilded cage, sometimes wishes she could trade places with one of them, experiencing the hard-won strength that comes from genuine struggle. 14. Has to look the other way. Inside North Korea's hermit kingdom, the lines blur between official rules and hidden power plays. On paper, adultery and polygamy are forbidden. Yet, history whispers a different tune. The rules may bend for those at the very top. Kim Jong-un himself, born outside of marriage, proves that the dynasty prioritizes its line over inconvenient social customs. Should his wife, Ri sol ju fail to provide the crucial heir, tradition suggests he might look elsewhere without her having a say. But an heir alone isn't a guarantee. Like his own surprising elevation over older brothers deemed less suitable, Kim Jong-un will ultimately choose based on who he believes can command the nation. Then, there's the wild card. Hyon Songwul, a former flame, is now back in his inner circle. She holds significant power within the party, and her presence on international trips sparks whispers. Could she play a larger role in the murky world of North Korean succession? Officially, the path is clear. Reality, however, is quite shadowy. Only time will reveal who'll step into the spotlight as the next leader of this enigmatic nation and what sacrifices might have been made along the way. But would you look away if your loved ones sought someone else's affection? Maybe not. Kim Jong-un does this to his wife either way. 13. Kim Jong-un doesn't let his wife talk to foreigners. In the secluded corridors of North Korea, even the most ordinary moments in Ri sol -ju's life as the wife of Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un are ensnared within the regime's iron grasp. Amidst the grandeur of her surroundings, every word uttered and every glimpse of the outside world is meticulously monitored and controlled, casting a shadow over even the most intimate aspects of her existence. Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un's vigilant eye extends far beyond 
beyond the political realm, encompassing the personal affairs of his spouse with unwavering scrutiny. Risolju finds herself navigating a delicate balance between the expectations of her position and the ever-looming threat of repercussions for any perceived deviation from the regime's mandates. These stringent measures are not merely the product of paranoia, but serve as pillars upholding the regime's dominance and safeguarding against external influences that could undermine its authority. North Korea stands as a fortress, with its walls fortified against the encroachment of foreign ideas and ideologies. For Ri Solju, this reality translates into a life of luxury encased within the confines of a gilded cage. Every encounter with other people or the outside world is framed by the regime's ever-present gaze, creating an environment of constant suspicion and observation. Yet, amidst the stifling control, there are whispers of defiance and yearnings for connection that refuse to be silenced. Despite the regime's efforts to isolate its people, the human spirit persists, seeking solace in clandestine exchanges and the tantalizing promise of a world beyond the regime's reach. 12. Kim Jong-un makes his wife invisible. In the tightly controlled realm of North Korea's leadership, Kim Jong-un makes his wife live under an unusual cloak of invisibility. Unlike the glamorous spouses of many world leaders, Ri's presence is carefully managed, shielded from the prying lenses of paparazzi. Only when her husband, the enigmatic supreme leader, deems it so, does she emerge into the public eye. But even then, her image is meticulously curated, with whispers circulating that she has been digitally erased from photographs, leaving behind an eerie absence. This peculiar phenomenon isn't mere happenstance, though. It's part of an elaborate stage play orchestrated by the regime. In the spotlight, Kim Jong-un commands center stage. His every move is scrutinized and celebrated. By excising Ri from the visual narrative, the regime magnifies his solo performance, reinforcing the cult of personality that surrounds him. It's a calculated strategy to maintain absolute control ensuring that all eyes remain fixated on the supreme leader without distraction. Yet the regime's manipulation of Ri's image goes beyond mere censorship. It adds a dose of intrigue and mystique. Rendered invisible, she becomes the unseen protagonist in North Korea's political theater, her absence sparking curiosity and speculation among the populace. This deliberate withholding of information serves to tighten the regime's grip on power, creating a narrative where truth is elusive and secret abound. 11. Rai must stay in North Korea forever. Before she assumed the esteemed title of the respected First Lady, the enigmatic Ri Sol Ju lived a life shrouded in mystery, a puzzle with more pieces missing than found. Despite the North Korean regime's iron grip on information, fragments of her past have managed to surface, offering tantalizing glimpses into a world far removed from her current reality. Whispers and speculation abound regarding Ri's pre-marital adventures painting a picture of a woman whose journey traversed borders and ideologies. Some sources suggest that she ventured beyond the confines of the Iron Curtain to pursue her passion for music, studying abroad in China. Immersed in a culture vastly different from her regimented upbringing, this experience likely served as a crucible, forging her convictions in a state of contrasting political and social norms. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. Rumors swirl about a clandestine visit to South Korea in 2000 2005, where she allegedly joined the throngs of spectators at the Asian Athletics Championships. If true, this fleeting excursion would have offered Ri a rare glimpse into the vibrant world of South Korean society, where democracy and commerce dance hand in hand. It's a stark juxtaposition to the tightly controlled environment of her homeland, offering a window into a world diametrically opposed to the one she knew. This is why you won't believe what Kim Jong-un did to his wife Rai. It's hard to believe, but her movements are now meticulously orchestrated, confined within the borders of North Korea, save for government-sanctioned excursions, typically in the somber context of official funerals. And even then, she is always in the company of her husband, the supreme leader, and the maximum security you could imagine. Who would have thought that a woman who has seen the world would accept being treated this way? 10. Arranged Marriage 
Amidst the corridors of power within the Kim dynasty, marriage isn't a tale of romance, but a strategic chess move. History unveils a pattern of carefully orchestrated unions, each serving to cement political alliances rather than evoke notions of love. Enter Ri Solju, whose marriage is a whispered narrative steeped in calculated maneuvering. In the aftermath of Kim Jong-il's stroke in 2009, speculations swirled that Ri's marriage was a meticulously planned affair, orchestrated to fortify his son's grip on power. Central to this narrative is Ri's family background, with whispers hinting at connections to Ri Pyeongchol, a prominent political figure whose influence has surged since the Union. In this world, choice is a luxury seldom afforded. Even if Ri and Kim Jong-un crossed paths before their marriage, societal pressures and the omnipresent control of the regime likely left her with little autonomy in accepting the proposal. Her I do might have echoed more of resignation than genuine consent, meaning that Kim Jong-un even made his wife marry him. Through the lens of Ri's story, we glimpse the intricacies between love and power. While the public may romanticize their appearances together, whispers suggest a reality where personal happiness pales in comparison to political exigencies. Ultimately, Rai's story, like many within the Kim dynasty, prompts us to ponder the boundaries of individual agency within the confines of a tightly controlled system. 9. Impossible Divorce Within the confines of North Korea's legal framework, the future of Ri Solju appears shrouded in uncertainty. While divorce technically exists as a legal recourse, its practicality is dubious, with the scales heavily tipped in favor of the state. Grounds for dissolution, such as adultery, hold little relevance in a regime notorious for flouting conventional moral codes. Can you believe that Kim Jong-un makes his wife that miserable? Even if Ri were to contemplate severing ties, the road ahead is fraught with obstacles. Unlike Western jurisdictions where irreconcilable differences suffice, North Korean law demands tangible evidence of misconduct, such as abuse or infidelity. Yet the latter seems incongruous within the Kim dynasty, further complicating matters for Rai. In this labyrinthine legal landscape, Ri's fate hinges largely on the whims of her husband. Any potential divorce would likely resemble more of a binding restraint than a liberating choice, underscoring the power dynamics inherent in their relationship. To top it all, navigating such proceedings would be akin to traversing a minefield. While the legal system ostensibly mandates court involvement, its impartiality under an authoritarian regime raises doubts. Publicly seeking a divorce could be construed as an act of dissent, inviting repercussions not only for Ri, but also for her family. This precarious reality encompasses every woman within North Korea's corridors of power, though. Despite the existence of legal safeguards, true agency and individual rights remain elusive, particularly for those ensnared within the orbit of the ruling elite. 8. He makes Rai wear what he says. Ri Sol Ju, the wife of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, presents a meticulously curated image to the world. Her public appearances showcase elegant dresses, tailored suits, and a preference for luxury brands. But one item of clothing is conspicuously absent, jeans. Why? Because Kim Jong-un doesn't allow his wife to wear them. The supposed ban on jeans for Ri Sol Ju reflects a complex set of factors within North Korea's tightly controlled society. First, denim's origins as American workwear clash with the regime's anti-Western propaganda. Jeans are a potent symbol of Western culture, and by discouraging their use, North Korea reinforces its message of self-reliance and isolationism. Ri Sol Ju is seen as a representative of the nation. Her appearance must align with the ideals of the regime. Jeans, with their casual and sometimes rebellious connotations, might be seen as too informal, even subversive, for North Korea's carefully constructed image of order and discipline. This sartorial restriction emphasizes the stark differences between North Korea's elite and its ordinary citizens. While the ruling class enjoys relative access to luxury goods, everyday North Koreans face severe limits on their attire and self-expression. Clothing becomes a powerful tool for maintaining social control. Ri Solju's wardrobe sends a message. It reaffirms North Korea's ideological stance, projects an air of sophistication to the outside world, and underscores the gulf between the country's leadership and the everyday realities faced by its people. 7. 
Ri Sol-ju must be obedient. In the tightly controlled realm of North Korea, dissent is not merely discouraged, it's ruthlessly suppressed. Ri Sol-ju, the enigmatic First Lady, exists within this suffocating atmosphere where deviation from the state-sanctioned narrative is met with swift and severe consequences. Despite her position of privilege, Ri's freedom of expression is severely curtailed, and her every word and action is scrutinized for any hint of dissent. Kim Jong-un, the supreme leader, holds ultimate authority over Ri Sol-ju, ensuring her obedience to the regime's dictates. His influence permeates every aspect of her life, from her public appearances to her private thoughts. Under his watchful eye, Ri is compelled to toe the party line. Her autonomy is eclipsed by the demands of loyalty and obedience. Within the confines of the regime, dissent takes on many forms, from overt acts of defiance to subtle expressions of discontent. Ri Sol-ju, like all citizens, is acutely aware of the consequences of challenging the status quo. Her public persona is carefully crafted to align seamlessly with the regime's propaganda. Her every appearance is a meticulously orchestrated display of loyalty and obedience. Behind closed doors, however, the facade of unwavering devotion cracks, revealing the internal struggle between personal convictions and the pressures of conformity. Even in the privacy of her own thoughts, Ri's ability to dissent is severely limited. The regime's pervasive surveillance apparatus ensures that any inclination towards dissent is swiftly detected and punished. Those suspected of disloyalty are subject to interrogation, imprisonment or worse, as the regime seeks to maintain its iron grip on power at all costs. 6. Public Appearances Ri Sol-ju, the wife of North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un, occupies a distinctive role in the public eye. Unlike first ladies in other nations who often showcase personal style and attend glamorous events, her appearances are meticulously orchestrated to serve a larger purpose, bolstering the legacy of the Kim family and enhancing the regime's image. Kim makes his wife present herself as he wishes. Her presence at national celebrations, such as the birthdays of past leaders, is not merely ceremonial, but strategic. These events, characterized by grand parades and performances venerating the Kim dynasty, require Ri to adhere to a peculiar rule, standing beside Kim not just as his spouse, but as a symbol endorsing the official narrative. Similarly, at the Arirang Mass Games, where thousands partake in synchronized displays of loyalty, her participation adds a personal touch to the overarching message of unity and allegiance. Yet beyond the spectacle of grand events, Ri's public persona itself carries profound significance. Her traditional attire and composed demeanor subtly reinforce the regime's values of conformity and deference to authority. Each public appearance serves as a form of communication, reminding citizens of their societal roles and the established order. Every carefully selected outfit and calculated gesture contributes to the meticulously crafted image of the Kim dynasty, reinforcing the regime's grip on power. Even seemingly mundane diplomatic engagements, such as her accompanying Kim Jong-un to China during the summit with Donald Trump in 2019, are strategic moves aimed at projecting an image of openness and cooperation to the world, albeit with a healthy dose of skepticism regarding North Korea's sincerity. Rai is a crucial instrument in the regime's ongoing efforts to maintain control and shape perceptions, both domestically and internationally. 5. She hides when she is pregnant. Ri Sol-ju, wife of North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un, navigated a labyrinth of tradition and expectation during her pregnancies. Within the confines of the Supreme Family, an entrenched belief dictated that the birth of a male heir was paramount for the continuity and legitimacy of the dynasty. This archaic notion, steeped in medieval mentality, cast a shadow over Ri's pregnancies, compelling her to retreat from public view. Information regarding her reproductive journey was tightly guarded, resulting in minimal online documentation of her experiences. After the birth of two daughters, the arrival of a long-awaited son was met with orchestrated jubilation and propaganda. 
His birth served as a crucial moment, reinforcing the regime's perceived strength and stability while validating the power of the Kim dynasty. Yet, amidst the celebrations, it is crucial to acknowledge the underlying patriarchal ideology that marginalized Rhee's role and imposed immense pressure on her as a mother. Throughout this journey, Rai's experiences were overshadowed by the weight of tradition and expectation, highlighting the entrenched gender norms within North Korean society. Society. Despite her pivotal role as the wife of the supreme leader, Rhee's agency and personal experiences were subsumed by the demands of dynastic succession and patriarchal ideals. This makes us all question, is Kim Jong-un making his wife look after his illegitimate children or are they really her own? 4. Hidden Identity Ri Solju, the wife of leader Kim Jong-un, occupies a unique and mysterious role. While her image is ubiquitous in state media, her true identity remains veiled in secrecy, shrouded by a deliberate campaign of obfuscation orchestrated by the regime. Could it be that Kim Jong-un made his wife delete her past? Unlike the customary practice of adopting or retaining one's name after marriage, Ri's situation takes on a surreal quality reminiscent of Orwellian fiction. Her past, including her birth name and even her year of birth, is deliberately obscured, cloaked in a veil of state-enforced anonymity. This erasure serves a dual purpose for the North Korean regime. On one hand, it allows for complete control over the narrative surrounding their first lady, shaping her identity into a propaganda tool in service of the Kim dynasty. The aspiring singer, the university student, and the individual with dreams and aspirations are all erased and replaced by a carefully constructed persona of unwavering loyalty and support. This deliberate concealment shields Ri and her family from potential vulnerabilities and scrutiny, safeguarding them from the prying eyes of adversaries. Yet paradoxically, it also fuels speculation and intrigue, keeping Rui at the forefront of public consciousness even when she's not actively featured in state media. Despite the regime's best efforts to maintain this facade of anonymity, occasional glimpses of the real Rui emerge, offering tantalizing hints of a personality that transcends the constraints of her manufactured image. Her confident demeanor and occasional displays of individuality suggest a complexity that defies the regime's attempts at total control. The question of Rhee's true identity remains a tantalizing enigma. Is she a willing participant in this meticulously constructed persona, or is she, like many North Koreans, simply a pawn, ensnared in the machinations of a regime that thrives on control and secrecy? Perhaps the answer lies somewhere in the intricate interplay between personal aspirations, societal expectations, and the oppressive grip of state authority. 3. Rai must be a part of charity events Now, when I tell you that Kim Jong-un makes his wife attend charity events, it might seem like there is nothing bad in the scenario. But as you might think, this is nothing but a golden curtain. Ri Solju's involvement in charity events serves as a crucial component in promoting the image of the Kim family within North Korean society. As the wife of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, her participation in philanthropic endeavors is not merely a matter of personal choice, but a strategic necessity dictated by the regime's propaganda apparatus. By engaging in charity work, Rai becomes a visible symbol of the compassion and benevolence associated with the Kim dynasty. Her presence at such events reinforces the regime's narrative of caring leadership, portraying Kim Jong-un and his family as benevolent guardians of the people. In addition, Rhee's involvement in charity serves to humanize the regime's image, presenting a softer and more approachable side to the Kim family's leadership. Through her interactions with those in need, she conveys a message of empathy and solidarity, fostering a sense of connection between the ruling elite and the populace. Additionally, Rhee's participation in charity events helps to bolster internal cohesion and loyalty among North Korean citizens. By showcasing the regime's commitment to addressing social issues and improving the welfare of the people, she strengthens the regime's legitimacy and reinforces its hold on power. Overall, Ri Solju's involvement in charity serves as a powerful tool for promoting the image of the Kim family, both domestically and internationally.
Through her participation, she contributes to the regime's efforts to cultivate a positive perception of its leadership and maintain control over the hearts and minds of the North Korean people. 2. Ri isn't allowed to use mobile phone. In the tightly controlled society of North Korea, access to modern communication technologies is strictly regulated, even for the wife of the leader, Ri Sol Ju. Kim Jong-un's wife is prohibited from using mobile phones or accessing the internet, a restriction that clearly showcases the regime's iron grip on information and communication. The ban on mobile phones and internet access for Rai Sol Ju is not merely a matter of personal convenience, but a strategic move by the regime to maintain control over the flow of information. In a country where dissent is ruthlessly suppressed, these technologies are seen as potential tools for subversion and opposition to the regime. By restricting Ri's access to them, the regime can minimize the risk of her communicating with external actors or accessing information deemed threatening to the regime's stability. The prohibition on mobile phones and internet access also serves to isolate Ri Sol Ju from the outside world, further reinforcing the regime's control over her actions and interactions. Without the ability to communicate freely with others or access information beyond the regime's propaganda, Rai is effectively cut off from the outside world and her worldview is shaped solely by the regime's narratives. 1. Ri Sol Ju can't talk to her parents, that Kim Jong-un makes his wife forget about her family. In the tightly controlled, familial ties are subject to the dictates of the regime, even for Ri Sol Ju. She is prohibited from meeting her family, a restriction that emphasizes the regime's firm control over personal relationships and connections. The ban on Ri Sol Ju from seeing her family is not merely a matter of personal autonomy, but a deliberate strategy by the regime to maintain its grip on power. By isolating her from her relatives, the regime aims to prevent any potential dissent or opposition from arising within her inner circle. This isolation reinforces Ri's dependence on Kim Jong-un and the ruling elite for social and emotional support. Moreover, the ban on family visits serves to further cut Ri off from the outside world, denying her access to alternative sources of information and support beyond the regime's control. Without the ability to maintain close ties with her family, Rai's perspective is shaped solely by the regime's narratives, deepening her loyalty to Kim Jong-un and the regime. What is the most shocking rule Ri Sol Ju has to obey? Let us know in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like to see more videos that we made, click on one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.